Gaius is here tonight, and I'm also very happy that uh, after the, his brief illness last uh, term, when he was supposed to give the talk and he couldn't come, he's also rescheduled everything to be able uh, um, to be here. It's, uh, it means a lot to me personally that he, he has uh, agreed to give this uh, lecture and that he's here. Um, I think when um, uh, we look at the relationship between architecture and site, over the last uh, probably 40 or 50 years, there have been uh, many different attitudes towards this uh, issue. You have architects who uh, address this through certain kind of uh, organic approach. You uh, have architects who uh, believe very much in the kind of contextual approach to, uh, to architecture. And, uh, and site, and so those who uh, believe very strongly in the relationship between mapping and architecture, and so it goes on. Uh, but I think among all these different kinds of practices, somehow the work of Enric Miraes is, uh, is very unique in terms of its relationship to, uh, to the site in the way that uh, the architecture actually constructs the site and the way that his construction of the site now then transforms, in a sense, the landscape of the building itself uh, and fundamentally transforms its, uh, its uses. A few years ago, I, I wrote a short piece that was called Emplotment, and I was trying to sort of look at the relationship between the idea of site and the way that the site itself became a kind of plotting, uh, the structuring of architecture through its remaking of, uh, of the site itself. And it seems that uh, the work of Enrique really is one of the best examples of this, uh, of this relationship between, uh, between site and architecture that we can think of, and as a result has really made also uh, very important contributions to uh, the relationship between architecture and landscape. Uh, Enrique Miralles, of course, apart from all his amazing projects, is someone who can't uh, sit still for, uh, for five minutes. He's always traveling. He's always doing projects in many different places, and has also played an important role uh, as an educator in, uh, in many, many different uh, schools. And his work, of course, has been published uh, uh, very, very widely. And I'm uh, really deeply honored that he's here tonight. Could you join me in welcoming Henrik Miraes? Thank you for having the passion to invite me again. <laughs> but I was really sick. Eh? Nobody believed it, but it was, I was sick. Not very much, but... but <laughs> But I was sick. So and, and and today also I will not. Uh, I, this works or not? The micro I think doesn't work. No, I think I should use this. No, I think I should use. This. No, but it's open. Yeah, it's on now. Ah, now it's on. Okay. Uh, if you let's go back when I was sick. Okay. My my lecture was named uh, alphabets and shadows or something like that. In a way, is. <laughs> Is is because I was preparing, um, uh, and I'm still am, so I have not done it. A kind of publication that, in a way, when you when you review your work, and then sometimes you, I like to present the, the work, uh, not just a kind of uh, uh, like an hypothesis, and then you give the the, the answer as the building. No? I think, in a way, I prefer to work in a kind of continuous way. You know, and 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 in a way, in my work, the this kind of um, I think the best way to express your work is express expressing the freedom you have at the moment uh, you make decisions in between doubts, no? And I'm going to talk about this, okay? Sorry. And, but I think it makes sense in, in, a, in a school because, because here, in a way, you are uh, fundamentally safe because one day the, the academic term finished, no? And whatever you have in the wall is the final result, okay? And, 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 and I think this, this is slight difference about never having a final result, even knowing that, that the building process is just one more, one more step on time, because at later the building will have its own life, etc. I mean, and even you will keep thinking on that. So in a way, I was quite impressed when, 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 when I decided to took uh, this kind of shadows. Maybe you have seen some of the photos about uh, photographing your buildings as as anything you want to see in them instead of the building itself. I mean, uh, when you finish a uh, building, this building forms part of something that is it's like the neighborhoods or whatever. No? And then in a way you could look at it in a very independent way. No? Uh, 
uh, and I think, uh, the, the, in a way, probably, I'm, I'm going to, to, today I'm going to, instead of showing that the slides, I prefer to show you two projects that we are working now in the intermediate moment we are in the office, in which I'm developing as a necessity, and, and, and Mosin was talking about site, and it's quite impressive because now most of the works we are doing has to do with with restoration and it has to do with uh, urban sites which are being demolished and then you need to do things again. Or you, a lot of European cities are about that, no? reusing. Re I mean, not only Berlin, no, but reusing, reusing, doing it again, taking any small bit of reality as a, as a precious starting point. No? All these kind of things, which I think characterize at least the, the moment of most of the of the commissions I'm working, and I think it's a general trend. No, I think you do things in on on continuing. No, and I think in that in that way, I've been discovering that that in a way, um, I do not remember the name of Gideon, Sp space, time, and architecture. No, <laughs> I think this famous word, time, that I really never I really never understood. No what really means time and they I, I think he, he has not understood much either, no, because he <laughs> you know it, it sounds nice but 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 it was about really you do not know, no? How and, and, and I think uh, doing these projects you find how much um, time it's it's uh, it's uh, something material. I think um, I sound a bit picturesque saying that but but time is the, the place of some architecture when, when you have no land, let's say, no? where, where you are in a, in a very urban context, the, all of the buildings exist, uh, there is expectations about reconstruction, expectations about new forms, and then you, you, you have the feeling that really time is wha what is more important. No? And, and, and I think the, the lecture will be a bit about that. I mean, of course, will be a slides of buildings, but, but you should have this kind of feeling in mind. And then I have two slides missing. <laughs> Which are quite important, and and, and I think is is and I will draw it. It's, um, <laughs> it's and it's quite nonsense because you will see. I, I did the photocopy. Yeah? So I, I think wha what is impressive of um, of uh, because you will see later. But wh what is impressive of uh, of a mirror painting on some of them, no, which I think probably for me is one of the painters that has been more more material, when you, when you read Miro notes, are impressive because they say, I'm going to do something <laughs> uh, in which I'm going to use a lot of white, maybe some piece of wood, uh, and then I will do three tries about it. No? And, and this is the program about, the, about his painting. And then, of course, uh, he starts uh, doing something else or talking about other things. No? And I'm always been impressed. And, and how, in a way, if you if you look carefully about uh, about a mural painting, of course I have not the slide. Okay, I will draw it a bit bigger. But but one thing which I will not draw is the back. In a way, how he prepared the, the painting for that to exist. No, and the second thing is is this. I mean, sorry for copying a mural, <laughs> but is, <laughs> is 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 this this impress? I mean, there is a a figure that I always been impressed. I mean, I will say, I start most of my projects with this drawing that I never did, no? which is something which is amazing. It's a I think it's one of the best forms. I mean, with that you could pass most of the exams, I'm sure. I mean, <laughs> really, I mean, I mean, it's useful for almost everything. I mean. <laughs> <laughs> and and, and I'm, I'm really impressed because uh, it's so, so Precise, no, and and what I like it about this, and and first I was talking sometimes about things like that, thinking more in, in Giacometti, no, but but if you if you think how many how many tries and how many forms, I mean my my how you say, how se llama trazo in English, my trace is not Nero, it's very bad, it's the architect's trace which is like whatever, no, but but I think if you see how many tries exist behind that, no? And, and finally, this, this form is fixed. I mean, it's, it's really amazing, no? And, and then how he connected with, with some other one, no? And, and, then, and then how he calibrate the distance to, to, to a third piece that does, I mean, this, for instance, is impressive, no? How the, the, the triangle finish again into something, and then how he define it, uh, uh, let's say a distance in which says here nothing else will happen no? and then he go back and if and almost like a joke tells you that, that
that he's pretty conscious of the of the humoristic quality of this, no, and and and, and make it as a kind of burnt sun or whatever, no, and then in a in a in an amazing way here starts a much more subtle thing, no, and, and I'm I'm impressed most most of that 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 how he established the the relations in between the things, no, and how everything is meaningful and, and how he creates a kind of relations that in the final result exist, uh, let's say, uh, all the thousands of tries, no? I, in, which, in which the forms at the end becomes, uh, becomes something, I will say, as precise as my other illustration, okay? This I will not draw it. I hope you see it because it's more difficult to draw. It's a double portrait. It, this was a tradition in Venice and in, by Paolo Lombardo, in which, in which you see, you know, again, when you always have the limitations, let's say, to express yourself about, about the human figure and most the, even the archetypical quality of male and female just distinguished by the hair and by the volume of the hair and things like that, you, you realize how, how sure it's the, the end result, but you realize how it's um, just one of the thousand possible tries, no? Uh, and I think this is what I'm, I'm really, and this has a lot to do with time, because in a way, this kind of instant quality of these things allows them to be on time, no? Uh, I think, and, and that is the end of the, 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 end of the lecture, okay? <laughs> so, <laughs> Because, because in a way, is what wh what is important, no? That that in a way, you, you create enough intensity. Um, I think when we see the slides, I will say probably that if you have, let's forget Miro, but you understand, okay? So it's out Miro. So I think is when when you work in a, in a site, at the end, the only thing you want to have, let's say, is a similar density or a similar quality of the things that surrounds you. No, I think, at least myself, I'm not interested in this kind of some A versus B or black against white or whatever. No, I prefer this kind of much more um, equilibrium system. No, so and, and, and I think when you, uh, you will see most of the slides are in a, in a bit rhetorically creating uh, variations upon variations until, until you create enough density for one of these things to exist, no? I think, uh, let's go to the slides, no? But, but the, the idea, because and now I go back to the other things. When the building is finished, in a way of another, maybe, if I was photographing the shadows or this kind of abstract patterns coming not from precise construction, not from uh, figurative uh, things, but just almost from this kind of automatic X-ray, that the sun and, and and rain and weather gives into the buildings, no? I think it was something similar when you start working with watering, no? I think it's something of that automatic, no? That how water goes through a kind of surface that is being prepared or not for that, no? And I think th this kind of um, variations is probably what allowed the building to, to be there on time, no? But on, on time, on time, yes, because you should finish, but a long, a long time, no? Let's, let's see the slides. I'm going to show two, two projects we've been doing at more or less at the same time and both I hope will be built and it's also a decision I took in the office really to, to enter uh, let's say the much more real discussion no? and, and without passing through competitions these are projects we have been done through, through discussion committees I mean really uh, following the process no? this is uh, maybe you know I'm sure you, you know, this is uh, Avenida Cambo, that's the cathedral, that is Via Layetana, so that's the, the core of all Barcelona. And, and we, we are living here, and by chance, or not such a chance, but by chance, let's say, we are, <laughs> we are, we are working on that project, which is, in principle, it's meant to be the demolition of that, because the, the, the city of Barcelona, it's now very much on... on on, on demolishing. I, I think, again, this has to do with time. B Barcelona has been doing a lot of uh, amazing things for the Olympics, as you know, but then suddenly, uh, crucial parts of the city keeps being forgotten. No? And, uh, and I think a very difficult and bureaucratic problem has happened that from European community funds, 
because this whole idea about regeneration, cleaning, whatever, no, almost coming from, from let's say, Corbu 29, no, I mean before of the war, this idea about thinking about the city as a kind of sick, uh, let's say, sick organism that you should clean it by 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 extracting pieces, no, I mean, uh, and it's amazing how this thing, let's say, almost 100 years, no, 100, no, but eight, 60 or 70 years later came back because it is money to do it. No? And suddenly, the, the, the city starts doing demolitions, which of course maybe are necessary to, to create open spaces or whatever, but at the same time are producing a, a much more harm than, than, because also they have not ready the, the, the idea of what's going to be there. No? The, and, and they were very, very blind. So the, then the, the, the material we did, and here in a way, it started very almost like an action without thought, this kind of process about what you should do. And, and, and you see, most of the material we have produced is not about form itself, it's about showing the problem, no? showing what's going to happen. If this is the demolitions you have seen, that is the kind of projects the city was proposing to go there, a kind of um, urban blocks that can be done in any peripheral situation. And that is the, the, the scenario that will happen if they demolish the market. No? So in a way, it's instead of showing the solutions, showing and exhibiting clearly the problems. No? And then suddenly, almost offering, almost again, I would say without thought, very fast, a kind of, uh, a kind of first proposals that if any reconstruction needs to go there, should be a kind of buildings that physically should engage, touching and having similar heights and, and reproducing maybe in, in, in a bigger scale wh what, what happens in the best places of that construction. No? So in a way, we b very fast throw something, and at the same time, we start producing some photographs in which, let's say, besides the, the classical the, the, or the critical attitude, you start, in a way, even being held by classical Roman spaces, no, for, for early Baroque period. See how this city, in a way, needs to be rebuilt, or, or, or is being rebuilt in the past. I will say, on the contrary, you know, let's say, trying to be very precise and conscious about the, the coherence in between the urban space or the urban form and the building itself. So w when you see some of the best planning of, of, uh, of the city of before industrialization, I will say the street doesn't exist. I think and probably when you have gone through demolition, you have gone to an early period in which you even should start doubting about if a city should only be defined by, by a street and, 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 how, and, and, and let's say by a street, as supporting of the facades and, and building, no? I think in London, it's many examples of that the cities doesn't exist. I mean, it was a kind of a connection in between these kind of squares, no? I mean, and, and, and I think it's quite important to even to make some, in that case, you see almost sketches and things like that probably are less rich than, than again, no? When you see the photos or materials that really collect the problem and the complexity of the situation, no? this was, photographing the same things in, in another way, you know, just asking. Uh, and, and that leads us to this proposal, because besides demolishing that, the, the city has already approved the project to, to open that street completely as a kind of idea coming from the Serda plan of, of late, uh, well, middle of last century, you know, at the end of last century. So, and then in a way, again, very simple, just, uh, just about even being carefully analyzing that even the existing geometry about the place could help you just again. No, here will be uh, the, the mirror thing. No, I mean, if you accept the, 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 uh, that the place is not as ideal as you think in the way of opening a street or something like that, and you realize that the that the market of Santa Catarina even is not on acts of that, that building has built in a different way, uh, you, et cetera, et cetera. We got, the comp we got the agreement with the city that we will keep the opening, but we keep the opening as a visual thing going through the avenue. And then we started almost producing a net that, that could connect the things, no? Taking, uh, taking forms. I mean, this project now has gone through and, and, and has gone until classical uh, rules and whatever, but we, we took fragments of it. And, and in a way, we tried to develop the, the, the freedom inside something of this kind of forms that existed. No? And, and, and then th this is the final result, not, not hiding more the thing. No? In a way, every piece is more complex, has to do about, about uh, restoration or uh, then new constructions, but, but everything in a way keeps beads. Uh, you, you get at least, as I was saying, a much more complex reality. And most of all, 
I think that the, the bit of the of the public space you will be almost a kind of equivalent. No, I mean will be. I think what is more important is that the classical definition of the street, it's it's up on doubts. No, it's almost in between brackets, and and then and then you start giving a much more complex um, figure for for planning and, and and the way of doing again. And here it comes. Uh, was really inventing and, and reproducing variations, no? showing that in this kind of precise defined forms that they come from from the pieces of land that they had been inhabited. So in a way, dimensions of inhabitations are there. You don't need to rationalize things that that already has been houses, no. Uh, and then and then really playing the using the office as a kind of uh, as a kind of place in which uh, this kind of reality could be mimicked in a way, no? producing a lot of variations and, and, and really letting then the people and committees and whatever not discuss about yes or not, discuss about 20, 50, 30 possibilities, no? in, in which then, again, this game of the doubt is there. No? I, I'm always saying that we wanted more or less something like that. No? And, and I'm really on this kind of more or less quite, quite, uh, quite open. No? Because then, then you see, no? it's a, uh, the final result, you, you could analyze it and, and, and then discover the paths and whatever. But what is more important, I think, is this kind of um, uh, growing the density of the intensity of the forms and the thoughts. And, 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 and that, for instance, the next step was the demolition part that needs to be done here. The, the houses which are being destroyed here, these ones, then the people will come to, to, to live there. No? And then we make the first proposal about reusing the market as a kind of uh, foundation for the new housing. No? So I think this will be the housing which, in a way, is missing here. No? And, and, and you see, at that moment, th this kind of um, but the criticism of the, of the model of the street comes, let's say, out of the, out of the result, comes not as a kind of previous uh, agenda. No? It's something much more intuitive, no? that, that, in a way, you have the feeling that just by compromising with reality, dimensions, scale, things like that, at the end, um, the, 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 the architecture, sh I mean, you, you see, this is being built. This is the, the one that, was, that we, we were not able to, to discuss this one. It was part of the agreement that we will not discuss that one. But the solution was about three like this, one, two, and three. And, and, then, and then we managed, in a way, to change the planning figures into these ones. And, and th this is going ahead. So, uh, and then you see, when you move distance, I think uh, you will see now what happens to the market, which I think is, in a way, a kind of a double project. You know, we've been doing this and this at the same time, and, and this was a kind of a transformation of urban planning, and this is a, is a real project. So, but at the same time, now, for instance, this one is going faster, so you, you never know really. You know, but, but again, this is a compromise or a kind of a statement in which then the market should react no? and, and should establish a kind of, a kind of next step. No? Because the, the market is, a, is an amazing in a structure that now is quite, uh, quite forgotten. And you see something that even from the logical point of view, which is here is an underneath parking, has never really helped the, the commercial activity just because also they, they do uh, this kind of garbage in the front. I mean, the, the really, the, the thing hasn't got this kind of uh, quality. No? But on the contrary, the, the market itself, and, and I think again, no, here, if we were talking in the other place about almost uh, the classical sense of a piazza or things like that, here is much more about materiality. I mean, I think it's amazing how the, the wood gets mixed with the food, and, and the, 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 the same food has almost eaten the market and, and has made that, that everybody forgets that here is a quite interesting place, but, but it's been completely hidden inside food. No? And, and, and this is again the, 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 the same image about uh, explaining that the, this kind of big street dimensions in that context are really a kind of elongated piazza. Of course, the, the remembrances of a, of a campo or, a, or a many of these classical. Um, and then we produce that document, which I think probably was the most convincing one. In the scenario that you will demolish the market, um, it's clear that the amount of free space you will get here will not make any benefit to any of those narrow streets. So I, I think it's clear that even uh, a kind of, let's say, neoclassical intervention about uh, reshaping the, the, the void, no? uh, the classical uh, 
even in Barcelona we have Plaza Real or, or the Paris uh, uh, Plaza. I mean, many many of these examples. No, I think uh, they will never be able to to really reconcile with that. No? So I think again this kind of uh, birth view, but uh, birth walking. No, it's it's quite. Uh, was quite important no? because then when you go to reality, you start uh, looking it with different eyes. No? It's almost like a, like a game. No? And then again, here was a similar. I mean, was two different clients, so we could not repeat the model. So we need to do it again. So it's a, because if not, they become jealous. So it's it's complicated. But but you see, you no. Know, again, here we started just by 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 leaving fragments uh, and really. Uh, again, using the production as a mimic, no, it's it's almost like uh, like letting form or final decisions postpone as maximum as possible. And here we're thinking about, uh, you see, some of the houses, thinking about the interior of the market, uh, pushing the commercial areas much more into the into the elongated piazza, no. And that was a more precise model that, that then start reconstructing some of the houses, and that is uh, parallel to the. And then here, is starting reusing the wood quality of the of the of the existing market into into a new structure that is able to to jump over the market and, and start building the street. No? But again, probably the most convincing document was this one that, that deals about almost let's say this kind of urban strategy. You know, if you've been in Barcelona, I'm sure you've been in Santa Maria del Mar, and I'm sure you've been in Museo Picasso, Calle Moncada. But uh, it's impressive that when you cross uh, the, this this uh, this street, which is uh, Calle Princesa, in a way, you are completely absorbed by that street. No, and and, and I think just if you follow Moncada, you will find a fantastic uh, Romanesque church, and you are just a, a block of distance of what could be, a, I think, a, a promising public place. No, so then in a way, you will move through this kind of more secret. Uh, Barcelona, as all the classical medieval towns are built along, along paths, no? it's almost like a center who, who irradiates things. No? And, and, and I think uh, it's very important nowadays, if we are thinking about, about the real regeneration of the place, that people move just in the opposite directions, no? not, not along main uh, historical paths, no? because historical paths are really clearly established. This is uh, Carders, etc. No? But, but you need to move through these uh, small streets. No? And I think that, as a process, sh should have a lot to do about uh, lettering, information, and, and really preparing this kind of movements. No? So I think that the, 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 because the hypothesis was a lot about that, no? thinking and explaining how much this place now is like this. It's a big parking on the avenue and a, and a completely blind spot. The, the place has in itself an enormous richness. That was the center of the piazza how it was uh, covered at the beginning of the century with a metal structure, which is quite decent. This was the original place, the, the, the market, the market which is uh, still there. The, the, uh, suddenly we find in the archives exactly the same construction that exists nowadays, and we are working on the top of that. Even even the, the wood trustees, but these kind of things at that moment, they were streets. I mean, they were really much more almost about carriages. It was, you should imagine this is uh, 850. So I mean, really, that scale was probably one of the biggest. The cathedral and that probably was the two biggest spaces in the city at that moment. No? And it's quite marvelous, just because, because let's say, because everything is very dirty, has survived. I mean, because in a way, it's hidden be between uh, walls, um, selling posts, and, and, and all these kind of things are still there. No? So in a way, it was very beautiful that, to think that that was a project that was proposed and never built, uh, a kind of neoclassical intervention that was not done. And this is the real the site. Uh, the, the site was, as always happens at the beginning of 19th century, after French Revolution, all these kind of church uh, uh, properties were just taken by the state and changed it into, into, into public places. No? So in a way, the place has gone through the demolition of, the, of a quite important Gothic uh, uh, church. No? and cloister, uh, almost equivalent to the cathedral. But uh, and I think when you discover these kind of things again, no, it's more than a kind of revival or historicism. Is that a compromise on, on your project? What I was telling you before, no, about density, about uh, how you fix all these doubts. No? And, and it was the, the, the beginning. And of course, at the beginning, you start working 
with something that you already know, no? and this could be part of the of the lecture that I was sick, the, the shadows and, and, and this kind of the, the material quality that is coming from examples that also people know in Barcelona, no? this kind of shadow building in in the park. No? But, but, but this, in a, in a way, you use it as a kind of um, as a kind of try, no? uh, and again here it comes Miro. No? It's a kind of it's a kind of try. It's not a form. It's a kind of uh, starting a conversation. No? Of course, you, you want to start a conversation uh, not talking about football, no? talking about something quite more in interesting, but really starting a conversation. No? And, and, and then this kind of thing starts to move, and again, it's the variations. It's on the top, it's not, becomes part of the market. At the same time, it tries to build the, the commercial activity outside. No? And, and, and you see, no? now is the moment in which you could, in a way, start discussing both actions. This was a much more complex, because it was dealing with, with much more rich material, and most of all, material that existed. And this kind of, let's say, first attempts, almost to rebuild the, the voids and, and to increase the density again, was probably much more direct. No, but, but again, you see, no? the, the process is about how you connect these things and how you work with that material. No? And again, again, time and all, all this kind of different way of looking at things helps, you know, because at the end, the thing you come back all the time is the richness of the existing, you know, some, some elemental wood trustees, but, or wood girders, but, but at the same time, you really, everything you do should engage them. That was the first proposals about housing, really using the, 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 the staircases to go through the place and really enjoy it, you know, the, even, very schematic. This is just telling. I, I like to put the house there. No, the curious thing is that when you do that, then everybody thinks you will not put pillars. No, which in a way I like it. The, the faith people has in architecture sometimes. So of course, it will be. A p I never imagined that nobody thought it would be a pillar. Of course. No? But, uh, and then we start really. You see, that is the uh, the down part of the market, and this was a much more elaborated. Uh, and then again, here we were really exactly with the same position, taking advantage or not, but, but really repeating almost the, the structure of the market into the houses. No? And, and, and it was, uh, again, a lot of variations and tries until we get into this that probably was more or less fixed. Because here, uh, a third proposal come. In the moment of doing the project, the city proposed to do a big garage underneath uh, for goods, but at the same time for the touristical buses. So I in a way, we, we built a kind of outside ramp, which is going to be covered. And in a way, I like it, because it's probably better than the housing. It will give a much more abstract quality to, to that space. No? And you, you see, that was the, 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 the and, this, and you see how, at the same time, the roof has been modified by, by this kind of elemental, um, let's say, double layer parallel to the road into something that has, I think, some of the qualities about the the existing metal structure that was there. No? It's almost like, uh, again, a compromise. Now I'm, I'm reworking that, and again, it's not the same. But and this is the, the volumes of the housing, very elemental. You, you will see later. But uh, I think you, you, you should imagine, and I'm going very fast, because you should imagine all these slides overlap, all these drawings, one on the top of the other, and all, all of them being the first step, the last step, uh, having the same reality, the same possibility, the same, <laughs> I will say, uh, faith, no? the, the, same, the same possibility, I will say. And, and, and we did something similar with the roof. We, we in a way, reconfigurated the roof. The, the market should be reduced almost uh, more than half. I mean, and, and again, there, in, in this kind of uh, small variations, is where you, where you find a lot of the freedom. No? For instance, at the end, you are choosing about revealing what has been inside into the facade no? by, by these three bays that jump through the existing building. No? This is quite similar to the final one already, defining the central part, etc. No? But again, no, I, I think probably these are the slides who, who really make sense no? to, to keep all of that. And, and I'm doing saying that because has to do with creating that density. No? For instance, this thing which I hated, now probably yesterday I thought that could be the best solution. <laughs> so I think because it's very simple and it's not bad. 
So, uh, and, and, and you see, no, it's about keeping all, all of that all the time. So, but means at the same time producing it, no? It's not uh, that this is what we really, at the end, uh, we, we present it and we are working with it, which is a much more flat and, 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 and with really, it's overlapping the existing uh, structure. And, and But I think it's something on the geometry, which is still, uh, I feel, is not correct. So we, we should rework it. But more or less, we are on the... I think what I like it more is this. This is the coming from the back, in which a kind of roof will appear as a kind of surprise entering the public space and going through the market. No? Uh, that was a view from here. No? And here a bit you see uh, this was working first, and now we are much more on that. But, but you see, in a way, at the first moment, even in a very fast uh, document, that you put uh, the, the both projects together. No? And, 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 and you see that probably with a complete different geometry or I think a, an equivalent density is is uh, is, is proposed, no? and, and you see at the end the housing I think has modified a lot, and, and I like it the, the way in which almost the smallest trees they have views through, but they have not the right passage. They, on the contrary, they should go around and have these internal couriers that could be almost half private, and, and most of all, the, the people could cross uh, even when the market is it's open. You, you see the geometry has changed a lot into into this kind of uh, path system, no? And, and coming from underneath, the, the, the building at the end happens to be an enormous parking garage connected with the one in the avenue uh, that then becomes specialized in, in higher dimensions for, as I tell you, for, for trucks and, and, and buses and, and storage. And then this is probably, the, the again, no? if, I'm, if I'm interested in these geometries because I will say it's a moment of a kind of geometry that has this kind of let's say, doubt in its construction. No? The, the pieces, I would say, sometimes they get not the same position almost to, to, to let them doubt. No? It's not, I would say, it's not just a, a formal thing that has to do with the eye or has to do with perception. No? It has it's something, uh, I think, s of, of kind of a feeling about it, no? that, that, that you should establish a system that allows this variation and changes, and uh, the, the, this, uh, of course, the, this wall has been changing 20 times every time the, the market wanted different. And then, uh, so it's this uh, allowing this this movement. No? And at the same time, when you see the building uh, growing from the air, from the floor, no, almost it starts getting its kind of precise geometry, no, In which without mimicking it, no, but but just by the fact that. The build the buildings left left the, the the structure of the market, then the light could come through and that is I think is a good place for for the shopping and things like that. So the ramp, it's part of of the volume of the housing and I think the ramp will become the housing uh, will make the housing abstract, no? And at the same time, some of the forms get connected with what's going to be the rooms, no? You see, no, but again, you should imagine this as a kind of, let's say, wire model in which, again, no, the, the, the successive uh, transformations, it's, it's not bad, it's on the contrary, okay? But the, the successive uh, modifications and transformations will allow them to, 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 to be there on time. No? Now it's a nightmare. <laughs> <laughs> I did the, why I did the first one okay and the second one bad? <laughs> but it doesn't matter. But then here you, you see a bit, no? the, the, the parking garage and then the, the scale of that and the scale of the new housing. Which this is a first sketch. I mean, I hope we will improve it. But it's really trying to, to, to make a, an almost uh, elemental dialogue in terms of height and dimensions and, and things like that. No? And this is the, 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 the final model we are working now. You, you see the back part entering from Moncada and crossing and, and, and almost this kind of back part, which is about services, about also open market, etc., and, and, and I think here you, you see the, the construction of the avenue, no? and, 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 and the new housing, and the new housing being uh, balanced on the top of the existing building. No? And that is probably this is more or less. But but uh, but again, no? uh, let's say for me the the, uh, the the interest of that or the way of working is about keeping in the final result. All these kind of all these kind of doubts, no? the, the same kind of thing I'm, I'm, I'm able to, to see on, on the Miro drawing. No? That, that in a way, the final result is fixing some points, is arriving somewhere, is touching somewhere, is having a certain height, 
is choosing about the structural materials, but at the same time uh, will be something, um, let's say, unfinished or something that will let them to be on time. No, I, I think I like it also one one moment. No, when you know these these people who run one after the other in the Olympics, so that they pass kind of a stick. The, I, I think it's it's a very beautiful the moment that they run together. No, which is a one is completely exhausted, <laughs> and the one, no, you imagine that moment, I'm sure technically it's very complicated, no? that one is exhausted, he couldn't do a, one, one step more, and the other one is wanting to run, no? and, and, and I think uh, th this kind of equilibrium no? in which um, probably I hope that, that at the end the, the all structures will, will be enough revitalized for not making this silly debate in between all and new and, and what is there and what I'm putting there and this kind of thing. No, much more really uh, this kind of very interesting moment in which both they run together again. No? And I'm, I'm, I'm really worried about that. And for that I was thinking that, that time probably is, is, is what you should think for. Uh, time is something material that has to do with the materials which are there, the materials you propose, the forms, the dimensions, no? but, but really try to deal with, with time categories in almost like, like you do with, with, with situation plans or, or land. No? Because at the end, the, the thing you are going to do is to build something that, that will, will bring this quality that doesn't exist in that space. I'm sure that the new result will be quite, quite surprising. No? And in a way, this was helped a bit by, by almost a kind of um, automatic work we have done. And this is our house, which is in the neighborhood. And, and, and in a way, the surprise here was that just by the, the project was only about discovering things. It was about cleaning. And then when you clean, you start thinking that, ah, that's not bad. Let's keep it. That's not bad. Let's keep it. And again and again and again. So and was, in a way, replacing things, not changing the floors and replacing the tiles near of the windows or, or reorganizing the program, but there was almost no, no construction. I think what was more, more impressive was to find that everywhere you, you want to do something, uh, somebody's been thinking before. No? And, and it was very beautiful. All the houses full of graffiti, of, of some pictorial program that probably or was never painted or, or later has been sold or, or I do not know. No? And then in a way, this kind of, uh, again, no? this kind of um, position of things, or which are in a kind of momentary equilibrium. So, uh, uh, and I think, again, that implies this kind of possible variation. Or that implies this kind of, uh, I don't know, like, like again, being in time. No? It's, it's, it's difficult to say. No? It's something you never know if this is a mistake or not, no? which in a way is what I like it. No? I mean, you never know if it needs to be more near or more distant, no? And you never know if that uh, makes sense or not. Or that I think, and sometimes it's about making decisions which are not fully calibrated. That's just a kind of guess, no? About um, which is let's frame things or let's. Uh, of course, you should decide, no? But or let's have. Well, this is upside down. This is a. This is not a table. It's a lamp. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> so, <laughs> but. But the, the lamp was like this uh, a long period. Later we hung the, 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 the electric bulbs. Mm -hmm. But again, painting and non-painting. No, I mean, and, and, and doing a table, but at the same time, because most of the time you don't use it, it's there like, a, it's like something. No? I mean, it's a, which is there. No? Mm -hmm. And the furniture is a lot about wheels and moving. This is the, the Smithsons, no? but it's moving and... and and also, you, you collect things more than anything else. I mean, a kind of camp, no? That is arranged and rearranged, no? And, uh, and again, th this was a bit the try we did in, uh, in for Santa Catarina Market, and in a way was my my presentation card when when we were asked to do the the Utrecht City Hall. This is this very big uh, block in the center of the city, that that is a kind of a town hall that has grown out of eating the neighborhoods, no? the, the, classical, the classical situation that a kind of representative building keeps eating the complete block. No? And, and it's, a, it's, a, it's a very impressive place. But the only thing is that when you look at it carefully, I mean, 
this process about almost like uh, being like a vampire, no? I mean, it's not because of that. Eh? It's like, like eating all the neighborhoods. In principle, everybody knows and everybody says that behind these houses existed wonderful medieval structures. The reality is that nothing exists there. Everything has been transformed, demolished, rebuilt. But just because of these facades, that in a way they were again rebuilt in the 30s, um, the illusion is being kept, no? and even this neoclassical facade inside, it's, uh, it's a corridor, it's no, it's no really even a bad neo-Palladian building in which you have a coherence in between form and, 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 and a structure. No? And, and then you find that the whole block is very heterogeneous, this is going into the back. The scale is quite interesting, and, and in a way, when you turn you see that a uh, kind of big uh, office building was rebuilt in the 30s in a kind of context which is uh, almost, the, let's say, the pair or the, the kind of symmetrical element in relation to the back part of the, neo of the neoclassical building. And, 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 and in a way, they ask you to, to reshape that and, and to make a new, a new hall with all the limitations about working in a historical center with the historical committees, etc. And then we found the freedom at the same time accepting this building, but at the same time, uh, let's say, using it. No? So it was a, uh, that was our competition proposal that is quite, quite simple, saying le let's, in a way, start uh, using voids inside of the, of the neoclassical hall, and then let's move that program into a kind of, uh, let's say, bars that, that could have a similar past of what you were thinking about the houses. No? And, and this, in a way, should open completely the, 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 the town hall and build the, the piazza in the back. No? You see, in a way, that, that we, we, we reuse most of the existing pieces. No? And, and again, to put this in context, and I think the, the, the view of the, of the wonderful Gothic uh, brick tower that they have it in Utrecht, from that plaza, it's amazing. I mean, this void really is almost on the shadow, and then you, you see that the place, I mean, the, the scale of the thing is completely overwhelmed by the, by the tower. No? And I think we prepare again a bit this model to show uh, how this small scale of the things will be in contact with that. No? Again, you, you see most of the time is preparing the thoughts. No? This was the also asking the new staircases and the new communications being outside of the building, you will see later. And that was the second step in which we start really identifying a bit the, the piazza, the public space, and the offices, and then really working with similar kind of uh, topography and layers. No? But again, very elemental. You should imagine this is like a first the sketches, showing about how could be the scale and, and how really could manipulate the building. So, and then again, from the first moment, was reality try to build more than a schematic models, really prototypes, even about making mistakes, or but, but really approach uh, the building with its kind of formal complexity. No? I mean, it's not a And I think this model was very useful to, to understand the game. So it was about really uh, making empty, uh, making voids into the neoclassical building. Uh, the, new, the new council chamber will be here. That is a medieval hall that existed there, but it's in ground floor, which is very strange for a for a neoclassical building, and then pushing offices and pushing civil servants and, and into almost, you see, no, uh, creating this <coughs> kind of density in the other part. No? I think that is what we will see later. And then when you make the void, even the first sketches was about reassembling people using light. Um, and, uh, and then again, here, thinking about that how the roof could, um, you see probably here, how the roof need, really needs to be reused and open and, and, and start. I mean, that was quite a schematic and a sketchy, but really the richness of the building will come much more uh, about its materiality than not about its style. No? I think hidden on this kind of uh, quite vulgar neoclassical box, you have the quality of construction itself. No? And, and, and then we, we, we fast, we even to, to catch the complexity of the thing, Again, no, not to be a schematic, not to work on, on just... Um, I like to work on, on this kind of details from the beginning. No? It was about really starting to build the roofs and, and build the light and start thinking about acoustics and, and whatever, but, but really from the beginning. And at the same time, the, the schematic thing was uh, to see 
how we could rearrange this kind of offices into a kind of new conglomerate. No? And again, the, the system of variations was was probably the strategy. No? I'm showing it now just to to, uh, to tell you about this kind of overlapping no? of, of, of material, no? that this was about the ground floor and corridors. And of course, they don't allow me to do this. I know, but... <laughs> <laughs> but then we get into this model, which I think you see the, the, the for reverse, the, the, the moment that you, you really accepted that, that you need to twist the project. No? And, and then I think this model was very important because in a way it was really going back to the, to the, to the opening, to the, to the houses, but uh, building it as a void and then pushing all the offices into one side and pushing all the circulation in the other side. And and I think this model, even to realize for the architect, let's say, what you are doing, I think was very, very, for me, very um, clarifying, not thinking that that will be a kind of a cuts, insertions, but at the end will be a piece that is attached to a hidden, you know, a hidden medieval room, which is there, which we built a void around. We moved the axis outside. And then here I was, again, working with this pair, the, the street in the middle, and this kind of uh, public space, which is the staircases, and, and private is a private thing, which is the offices. No? And this has been kept through, through the process. No? These are variations of the same. And, and I think then this, this almost like tokens or kids no? helps, helps you to, at least to be sure, to fix some of the doubts, no? and, uh, the importance of the, of the steps and the public space. No? Of course, that was very sketchy, and they thought it was too Mediterranean and the classical thing. <laughs> and the, I'm Mediterranean, you know, everywhere I go. And, and then we, you know, to be less Mediterranean, we do that. Huh? I mean, <laughs> <laughs> because, <laughs> no, because I thought if I do roofs, they say I'm Mediterranean, so I'm not Mediterranean. So, and the, and, but I think what is important is that, again, no, I realize that it's true that when you are working in Holland, People is very worried about light. I mean, and usually I do black and white photos, and they say, mm, it's very dark. <laughs> so, and, and I think I was changing the material just to, to again, to let them enter the game. No? And, and it was about pushing all that into, into the new office spaces. No? Which, and again, and again, the, the, the game uh, will be to ask them to choose, in a way, to ask them, to, which is very demagogical, I know. But, but at the same time, is, is letting the play go through, no? letting, letting the conversation not stop. No? And, and I'm, I have the feeling that this is what, what the office now is about, no? letting the, the conversation being produced. No? And, and, and because that was the final result that you see is much more, uh, I think, equilibrated. And, and so it was the, the new wing of offices, the space in between, and you will see later. No? But also the building at the end, I think, gets one of these forms, which is probably the result of, of all these doubts. No? This is the public space in between the buildings, and there is a big bike parking, which is being used by the city. <coughs> that was the first attempt of a Of course, most of, I think what is a big compromise about that is that you should give solutions that probably you have not matured enough. I mean, I knew that, that the staircase was a, just a try, an attempt. No, I mean, but then I, I like to, to finish the attempt, no, no, not, to, not to leave it uh, as a guess. No? And, uh, you see again here the, the same explanation about how you push the program into that wing and you clean all the interior of the buildings. And I think what is very important is, I think, the abstract role this kind of quite weak uh, back facade will take just because of the, of the high volume of air that will be inside leading you into the, into the into the assembly room, no? that you will arrive directly from outside, crossing the space. No? And I think, and also letting the building to have this kind of tr literal transparency about uh, that the big rooms inside should light the street and should show what happens. No? This is a bit a schematic at that moment, the, the, the room. No? And I think to let the building be clean to these views. No? This is a view from the assembly hall into the, into the lo high lobby, the, the courtyard and the, the office building, not to let this kind of views go through. No? Then you see no, the, 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 the reason, and sometimes uh, the we were talking before, a 
about the forms. The reason is just to, to or the reason. The final decision is like, uh, like every intermediate moment could be the final one. And, and let's say, and the final one needs to be an intermediate moment because later on uh, also time will follow. No? So for that is sometimes about when you move to Windows, it's just about letting them be there no? with a bit of because uh, even you see no? the, the, the surroundings which are building the place are, I think build a bit like that no? by, by, by kind of overlapping of decisions no? that I think the secret of the scale is, is a lot on that no? of course the form of the building is defined and has a specific uh, reasons but, but when you build it I think it's about this kind of uh, doubt construction no? which I think Again, going back to Miro, going back to this kind of subtle conversation pieces no, that you have in many paintings. I think I like it, this kind of psychological quality. No? I'm going fast because you should remember all of them at the same time, okay? Because if I put it all together, we'll be, uh, <laughs> I don't know, but... <laughs> But again, well, you see, no, and, and also I like to reproduce a bit what what the, the, the working means, no. It's just again with the same, and, and and I think this one, which is very naive, I really like it. Was the, the one of the last uh, proposals about the staircase, uh, and now for it is quite nice because they don't believe that I I'm not going to change the project again. So they they, but they now we are in theory doing final design, no, and they always think that it's going to change again. <laughs> And, and, and it was quite, you see, no? because at the end, you know, no? and I think probably these two slides explains well what I, what I mean. No? I think you know that, that let's say, if you, any, any of that will be good or bad. I mean, it's not, it's not that this one will be better. I mean, th this one has probably some of the qualities which are there, but uh, the ideal thing will be that this, this final decision, because of the or this kind of equilibrium quality of the structure or the, or the form or the dimensions or the shapes it still has the, the possibility of that play of variation. So I think this is the, the one of the final proposals. And you, you see here it's quite important in this model it came to be uh, the coming back of some of the old facades with some changes and you see later how this thing is being affected. No? When you do that, no, I mean, you, you start thinking that this could not be the only, the only actor, and then uh, because of the facade, we go back to a much more rough idea at the beginning about making an horizontal movement out of the building, much more than a staircase of a ramp, and, and and I think this has again changed a lot the input of of the proposal, and you see, I think this is much more better. I have the feeling about how the horizontal. One of the best qualities of a neoclassical building is in this kind of gravity massive uh, essence defined by moldings, no? by, by, and then I, I think this horizontal ramp is much, much more better. And then that allowed me to do the contrary, in a way to start modifying the existing facades as a way to, to almost to let light go inside of the building in a, in a much more dramatic way. No? And, and again, the play start again and again, and then well, we are more or less here, no? But uh, and then I think what, what my feeling is that any final drawing that starts appearing, the only let's say the only mm, rule you could ask is that some of this kind of trembling quality or something like that, quality doesn't mean good, means uh, condition, or I don't know how to say in English. Uh, it should exist, no? It should be. It should be some of this, uh, you see, no, this is a final drawing and this is a sketch coming from the competition, no? so that, that in a way something that was in the competition done as, a, as an intuition about how the houses will build the public space or how the, the shadow, how the, the, again here we could come to shadows and these kind of things I was telling at the beginning, no? will build the public space, now is being done through a kind of construction which of course is much more complex because you should deal about the quality of the rooms. A building like this is nothing else than, than a series of rooms and it's been used like that. So at the end, uh, you see how, we, how you've been in a way reworking and reinventing an existing staircase that existed there or a new one which is here coming from the neoclassical building. No, it's more, 
and the facade is being literally eroded and modified and reused. No, it's, uh, this is the complete facade of the new of the new wing. No, and that is the the assembly room and these some of the light pieces that you see. The difference is very small. They have really built together like a cluster around that wall, which I think is quite important. And at the same time, they have engaged the staircase and a kind of acoustic wall for, for also holding visitors. So you, you see the differences, you could say, are quite, quite small. And you could imagine them, again, as, as variations. No? And, and this is more or less the plan, that a kind of general strategy about continuity of moving and, and furniture that has some kind of exhibition elements, whatever, will guide you through the building. But at the same time, it's very different areas and very private. And uh, you know this kind of program. It's a town hall. No? And all of that variations, let's say, at the end, the only thing that could be explained is the project is as simple as that. No? I think when, when the architect show a sketch, is 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 this kind of um, this is because I don't like sketches, no? <laughs> because, because at the end, if I should explain the project, and I did these projects, these drawings, because they asked me to do a drawing to explain the project, no? and, and then I did that. I mean, it's a, my aim is, in a way, to rebuild, and, and, and not to rebuild, to, to show, to reveal, no? To reveal, uh, in a way, this kind of time game that has existed in the place, no? And, and in a way, do it it again, no? But but I think this is a process that I feel necessary to to, to go through through this constant variation of a small differences, no? And, and again and again, no? and, and and produce this kind of uh, you could say almost like a like a time game, almost like a, like a children's game, no? In which uh, almost without noticing it, then you will find your project uh, inside time, no? And, and, and and again, we could go back to Miro, that he does it much, much more better. So, thank you. <laughs> so, Alejandro will explain it better. <laughs> I know. <laughs> <laughs> okay, there. Ah. This is the kind of uh, lecture that you really want to have a seminar after this, because I have so many questions. There are so many things that are really, maybe the, nec the, the nature of the kind of lecture is not the most appropriate. But somehow, um, somehow this uh, uh, issue of, of expression, mm -hmm. in a way, is, is a question uh, for me, because you want throughout the presentation of all the slides, somehow all of us to remember mm. all the slides, everything mm. at mm. the same time. Mm. And yes. um, on in terms of the project, you also want, in a sense, for this situation to be present. This idea that yes. what you are calling this this idea of the doubt to be something that is that is represented uh, on the outside of the building in some way, in terms of the layering of mm. the many many instances. Now there is also this very. Uh, beautiful piece that Merleau-Ponty wrote. No? I don't know if you know it. It's called Cezanne's Doubt. No. No. It's okay. about how Cezanne was doing uh, the same painting over and over and over and over again. And uh, so the question is not the question. It's similar to what you're saying. But it's about the idea of the variation of the same thing. But okay. the painting that is done the second time is not really a kind of accumulation of the one that was done before, but it's different in terms mm -hmm. of its variation with the, with the thing that was done uh, previously. And I, my question is, is why uh, do you want to, to freeze this idea of the accumulative process um, in, mm -hmm. terms of the, in terms of the project? And why do you want to express this condition? I mean, the, the, the why is difficult to answer. <laughs> but uh, but uh, I think, as a, as a joke, if this was here, it was kind of not a, not a lecture. You know, I, I'm always joking, but I think it, I'm joking in the office that I have, you know, this classical thing people say, you know, Aurora Bakui? You know, this, mm -hmm. <laughs> you, you know, this classical thing that happens at the end of Roman Empire, mm -hmm. <laughs> let's say. No? In a way, it's, uh, probably th this is difficult to, to express. No, but 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 um, 
let's say we inhabit the room, no? And, and, and we fill the room and, and full, no? And then the room gets empty. And, 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 and I think if, if you, m myself, I've been working always out of, uh, let's say, the description of a path, no? Or, and then which is where people have been passing, or the kind of closing of some walls, or the, the, uh, and then at the end, you make a kind of ident identification in between, in between human actions and, and, and you being an architect and making a human action, let's say, you know? So and there is a moment that, that I need the, 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 the project to be full. And then, of course, will be empty. But, <laughs> but, but I need it to be full. I need it to, to, to have gone through it, I, uh, to, to have uh, built uh, three different rooms, uh, to have changed the, 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 the roof 20 times. So, I mean, because it's almost like... Um, like a kind of um, game, no? in which then the final solution, um, I hope, is not there alone to, to, to let's say, to, to say something. And today, bueno, before we were discussing with, with uh, Pablo, mm -hmm. and, and, and he asked me something similar, and, and I have the feeling that this is a common thing in, in many architects. The only thing is that uh, some of, of architects, they decided not to express that. Mm -hmm. uh, I think it's a moment, I will say, I, f I have the feeling, because I think it's a profession that we all share a lot of similar ambitions and tools, and I mean, most of all in, in a place like this, not everywhere. <laughs> but, but it's a moment that if you decided to cancel this or not, and, and I will say at this moment myself, I prefer not to do it. No, it's almost like uh, the, this game by Melville, no? you, you, you know Bartel by, Bartel be the writer, can you say Bartel, you know the tale? It's, it's a wonderful short piece that in a way it's a man, a clerk, who enters to work in an office and he sits there in the table and doesn't do anything, you know? And then the boss comes very polite the first day and says, could you do this? And then every time he answers, Yes, but I'd rather not. <laughs> and, and, and all the plays on that. So in that, in that I, f I have the feeling that, of course, the solution at the end will be precise. No? But, but not, not using, let's say, precise as equivalent of, of regular or precise as equivalent of a com kind of convention. No? I prefer, in a way, by this kind of uh, overlapping game, almost, that, that in a way is engaging effort and, and that, that, that the one that comes at the end is one of many. No? I mean, it's difficult to explain. Why is like, uh, because I, pr I think it's no, 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 no priorities besides uh, clear many priorities. No? But so it's very beautiful when you see the, 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 the pantheon, the, 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 how you say, the, the, the triangle the, in English, the, the pediment, no, but the pediment, no, you say? That still they find a place for a horse, no, and then <laughs> still they find a place for two warriors more, and then it's a, it's a hand of a woman coming out, and I think it's, it's very impressive, no, of course you could not build that, but, but you know that these projects or these constructions exist there, or could exist there, no, it's, it's almost, and this is what I was saying about time, because if you are building a building on the top of a church that is being demolished, they was built a library, then they built it again, then they proposed a market, then they built a garage. Then, I mean, this kind of o overlapping is so material in a way, you know, that, that, that you think that instead of doing that, you say, okay, I'm going to do, I do not know, you know? I mean, and, and go ahead with this, no? <laughs> no, but I mean, in terms of the, um, the first project with yes. the market, when you showed that you could, in fact, in terms of the reorganization of the urban situation, mm -hmm. then have a, a, a relationship between the architecture mm -hmm. and the urban uh, mm -hmm. organization, so that you could, in some way, have a kind of accumulation of all mm -hmm. these things. Now, in terms of the urban project, that kind of example is built again over so many years. Mm -hmm. Now, for a single architect, it seems that often it's very difficult to actually create the kind of material variation yes, so I, that I the know. piece itself will yes, look, will somehow be a kind of mimicking of this of this scenographic thing, and, and that sort of raises certain problems yes. too. Yes. 
I know life is difficult, but, uh, <laughs> but as, long, as long as it's agreed. But if you, I, if you I, I, don't agree, I think I want to. I could stay here all night, but somebody else. Irene, can you get the uh, the microphone? I would really like some of the students also to ask questions. I mean, you shouldn't be shy. This is the kind of lecture that in terms of methods of work and process and all of that raises really a lot of issues and we should uh um, I, I would like to ask you about uh, trying to perhaps place your work in the context of uh, work, other works which are being done today by other people and so there are some people who look at your work and um, associated perhaps with, let's say, an organic trend. And you referred, for example, to the Smithson. I, if you tell me names will be better than... Yeah, than for example, <laughs> to, I, I just mentioned the, Smith, the, the Smithsons, ah, okay, Smith, the Smithsons, which you yeah. have mentioned too in your, in your talk. Um, and when one look at the work, there are perhaps other architects, say, the construction, which comes to mind. Yeah. And you have talked, I think, very beautifully about... you have mentions the idea of buildings which are on time, or perhaps lines which are on time, or perhaps components which are on time, perhaps architects who are on time. Um, I, I wonder whether you think that it is something which is specific to your work, or whether it is something which is actually shared by other architects who are practicing at the present moment, or perhaps maybe in the past. I don't know, with the, with the present also it's, it's more difficult to know, but, but I think what is, it works? I don't think so, yes. What, what I think it's, it's for sure real is that, that, um, that I, I, don't feel, I don't feel alone at all. <laughs> so uh, really, I don't, maybe, but, but I, I think uh, in a way, if you look for that reason, a kind of lecture like this cannot be given anywhere except in a place in which, I don't know if you like it or not, but I'm sure at least we share uh, some, some uh, deep interest on the things, no? Uh, and I think that um, is difficult to say in specific moments, no? But uh, the, the only thing I try to, let's say then, besides sharing things which I completely agree, uh, it's uh, then, in a way, I'll try to, to put the discussion of final form a bit out of the, of the process, no? And really, and really start working from very contingent uh, situations like uh, the ownership of land. I mean, when you w one of the things that I'm, I'm really impressed. No, w when you when you extract a piece of, of ownership in, in in that in that grid, no, you, you you discover yourself that a house has more or less this form, no? <laughs> which again is amazing. And, and, and really. Again. Like Miro again, <laughs> no, maybe Miro is, Miro is better. But <laughs> <laughs> it's amazing. Eh? You will not forget that, I'm sure. <laughs> Any public space, you could do with that. But no, but but uh, but but you see, no, I, I I don't know why. Again, this maybe is about uh, being uh, stupid or stubborn. But but this is about. Not cancelling that. No, probably is about trying not to cancel things, no, physical things. I'm thinking about limits, ex existing pieces, a scale. No, of course you could uh, start a new project and then you really could do completely something that is cancelling that. And if you think a lot of the avant-garde project at a certain moment, their best statements were about cancelling, no, because their own agenda and the program could not deal with these things in a way the things we share from other people, uh, and I'm likely to transform that common shared material about dealing with, uh, with the things you found, almost by chance, no? I don't know if that answers you, I think, but... <laughs> Do I answer your question? No. <laughs> is due to, I believe, probably lots of reasons. Yeah. 
and now you start building something new yes. and these reasons might not be there anymore. Yes. Um, why do you still consider keeping the vivid shape? Yes, no, I, I think it's a perfectly good reason. I'm happy you are not my client. <laughs> 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 yes, yes. But probably has a lot to do with, with curiosity and, and in a way kind of desire of, uh, of, of um, silly experimentation maybe, you know, in, which, uh, in which you kept frozen into a situation and then you should escape. You know, but you escape from the existing situation. You doesn't come from somewhere else. No, I think uh, I like to find the, the, the freedom on, on, on existing situations. And also, I told you very briefly in the, at the beginning of the lecture that I'm now much more in a, in a moment of the office that I should go not as much through competitions or ju just to go through, through really dealing with day-to-day um, -day work. And, and I think you should establish a strategy for that. No? because you could not go there and say mm, that, no? Again, not to play the, the yes or no game, no? It's just uh, really dealing with, with something that could look minor, no? And, and this thing could go to the Smithsons. I think the Smithsons being very, very British, let's say, they make this kind of biggest extravaganza, no? Which was taking common sense as the most sophisticated <laughs> thing <laughs> you could imagine, no? I think. Uh, and then taking common sense as the most uh, extravagant thought, no? and, and in a way, that probably I'm really interested in that. No? with your employees or with your clients. Yeah. You talked, uh, you keep changing things. And yes, in a way, I think, um, let's say, I make no, di I think the models and the variations are also very useful for establishing communication, also inside of the office. Well, when the office gets uh, something which is a kind of, uh, not larger number, but you, you have some people there, now we are around 24, 25, so I think, uh, the, the constant building of these things creates a kind of uh, secret discussion. No? Everybody sees, looks, and, and so I, I think uh, and it's a similar thing. I mean, the, 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 I would say the dialogue with, with the, the, co the, the collaborators and the client is quite the, s is quite the same. I mean, it's, and it's what I'm trying. So from, from the economic point of view, um, <laughs> it looked incredible to me to do you take great liberties with the clients or do you take great liberties for with instance, your employees? In the, in the Utrecht project, as you know, the Dutch are fantastically Dutch. No, uh, I, I think when we started working with the quantity survey, I mean, the whole the process has gone very well. But when we started working with the quantity surveyors, they give prices to something. They say, that's the cost, that's the cost. And they say, and they came to the staircase and say, that's the extra cost. <laughs> <laughs> and then I, I, I found that that was crucial. That was unfair. I would say, OK, tell it's very expensive, but never more say extra cost. Also because I'm paying you. But, <laughs> <laughs> but, but because it's very important. You see, at the end, the thing of the cost, uh, it's something that is managed in between the building, the possibilities. And I mean, and never a client in a, in a public work will exceed budget, never. It's impossible in Holland, impossible. But, <laughs> <laughs> but, but you should not allow them to say extra cost, because if that means there is forms that has a cost, and there is forms that has extra cost, no? <laughs> so I think, again, no, it's really putting everything at the same level, discussing the things. I mean, but um, the buildings cost the money the client have. I mean, it's not, nothing about forms. <laughs> from the street. <laughs> Question from the street. Yeah. In John, uh, in the Santa Catarina market, the urban operation of mimicking, is it your critical response to El Raval operation? Could you say it again? The, uh, the mimic in Santa Catarina, in yes. the urban scale, 
Is it a critique or your response to the way the things have been done in El Raval? In? In El Raval? Raval? <laughs> yes, but th this is a very specific discussion. I don't know if people, I mean, to, uh, where are you from? Uh, Andorra. From? Andorra. <laughs> yeah, I, I think, but this could be a long explanation. The city of Barcelona has been used a very much uh, kind of rational to say something, a process about the, the, the street and the block. As let's say, as if you, the only two figures you have in urban proposal is a profile that defines you a height of the construction and a distance into the next one. No? I think, and this is only the, 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 the form which is defining urban rules. No? And, and, and I thought uh, very consciously that we need to really at least to add three or four data more or, or really go through a kind of much more flexible system. Yeah, this is true, but I think it's a, it's a very specific discussion on, on in a way where the energy comes to, to discuss the, pro the project in public, no? but you are right. to respond with that formally. What about um, in, in terms of the material itself, if with this realization that it's, it's going to change or uh, be used in a different way? I think of the, the, the choosing about materials, I think, of course, uh, well, but the, uh, when, when there is not so many materials, there are, no? How many materials do you have <laughs> to fill? And, and I think when, when you make a decision on, on, on dimensions, you know, most thinking about, of course, if you are doing a room and so, but and, and about cladding, it's, it's another business. No, but but if you think on, on road construction, uh, when you have a dimension, you have already almost defined the material, no? And it depends on the length of the jams or the geometry. So you jump from the possibility of concrete to to to, to, to steel to laminated wood to precast. So I think unconsciously or not so unconsciously, but any of these tries uh, deals with a kind of material quality. But, but of course, I, I prefer to deal just with the geometric consequences of that. No? I think you have not seen, but the final solution of the, of the whole market is based on, I do not know if I'm able to draw it, because again, what I like it about the process is that I could not make a sketch that is precise enough, no? Now I'm going to do an awful sketch, you will see. I, I, I warn you. But, <laughs> but uh, no, because, because I think it's what is interesting about the process, no? That, that in a way, um, the sketch will be uh, uh, impossible. I mean, will be, but it doesn't matter. But what I'm saying is I don't know exactly how, but uh, I managed to summarize the geometry. You see, but uh, I told you that will be a disaster. But at the end, it happens to be two big concrete pieces inside that, in a way, just with one pillar here, and this being attached here and there, in a way, hold all the geometry of the complete thing. So that there is a moment in which you start thinking about how really the work with the borders and things like that. And I think this will change completely the, the perception of the market when the thing will be done which is quite unexpected from the drawings, two big uh, concrete roofs will be there. That I'm sure you don't expect that from the drawings. <laughs> and, and I think this is probably what is more important. So it's just a lot, still another part of the process that of course happens in, in our head. And I think in that I'm not very uh, concerned about representing materials when I'm drawing, and much more about, uh, say, construction geometry. No. The And um, in relation also to the question of time that you were talking about, uh, do you recognize as, uh, time also as a relation to culture? And in that sense, um, do you think there is any relationship between your work and or any influence of the writing of Iceman is in relation to the false, the plea against false? Yeah. And, uh, because it seems to me that uh, there is certain connection 
Well, no, this, this is what uh, I think, in a way, the, the question goes back to the to the to the influences, no, and, and to the and more than influences to sharing things. But um, uh, this is a very tricky answer, okay? But uh, but but in a way, um, some things, and this is about sharing. It's better not to know very well, no. So I think <laughs> I think it's better not. Mm, I don't know. If, if two, two things, for instance, if if I know Peter Eisman is doing something of that, it's better not to know it very well, no? No, be, because because in a way you are more interested about uh, the, the small changes. Or of course, there is a uh, everything has could be described as in a kind of uh, a tree, you know, and kind of connections and, and, and then the thinking about. But, but I think one of the fundamental things. Sorry. The, the architects, and I include myself, is about how we learn things through misunderstandings, no? I mean, <laughs> but, but this is, this in a way, if we said just in between us, it's not, so, I mean, we know that, no? I mean, <laughs> and, and so then the better thing about misunderstandings is to smile and then keep going, no? Because if, <laughs> because if, if, you, if you really want then to establish a kind of uh, uh, connection, and then you destroy everything, I mean. Collapse. Uh, I'm wondering why, if you like to keep the project moving and never stopping, showing many possibilities of the same things, but everything different, you keep, uh, you still having the same way to represent the pictures and the letters in your drawings and the elements. <laughs> I mean, I'm like selling, but still, <laughs> no. Uh, but probably it's true. It's true. You, you're right. But but I think if you see in a in a bigger gap, uh, probably you will see differences. I, I think even how some of the things get more important and, and, and less. And, and I think it's not so fixed as you imagine. But 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 I have a faith that uh, most most than the lettering about about this kind of. Uh, Precise description of the geometry no? uh, as a kind of uh, as a kind of the of the main material that the drawings should 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 do. No, should not be representational. Should be, let's say, in that way, working instruments about dimensions, scale, connections, things like that. No? And of course, the, the, the I've been doing tries, and I I, I hate the sketches, and uh, really, I mean. That that is, I think, a misunderstanding. The, the poor Alvaro Alto, I'm sure, when they did this, this, uh, the, the, if at the beginning I really hate Alvaro Alto, it's because these sketches are painful, no? When, when, but really painful. I mean, and nowadays even uh, all the architects, when they ask us a book, then they, uh, and the sketches, where are the sketches? I mean, and, and so I in a way, it is not bad to identify yourself with a way of dealing with geometry, but. Uh, but I prefer, in a way, to identify myself with this kind of geometrical plans than with the sketches or things like that. No, but, but again, this is a moment. I, I'm not, I'm not really fixed on that. <laughs> it's true. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you.